What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Jesus Coin today. This one does not come to us at the request of anybody. I'm just, you know, I was looking at the chart myself, and, and I just figured it would be a good time to talk about it since we are at all time lows, or, or we, we bounced off of all time lows. We had a 16.75% day to the upside here after reaching our current all time lows. Yes, I am calling this the all time low. No, I am not calling that the all time low. We don't have a whole lot of volume, do we? We are, we're on the Poloniex chart. Um, which is a very low volume exchange in itself, but I would expect to see more volume than this. Looking at the price itself, you can see with the RSI, you have a higher high here in the RSI while having a lower high in the price, actually. Yes. So that would be hidden bearish divergence. It's been a while. It has been a while since we've been into the oversold zone. And I would think that we would come down and bounce off of that. That would unfortunately not spell good things for the price of Jesus coin in the coming days to weeks. I do think that we go lower, but you know, this, it, it wouldn't take much. I mean, it would take much, but it wouldn't take much overall from like the perspective of this chart to move down to a price that would take us down to the oversold zone. It can happen in a day or two or three or four. It could happen in a couple weeks, something like that. Overall, though, I do and would expect that with this day here, you can see where it closed. It kind of closed at the bottom of this previous range. And this was all we had as far as a pump. It was 16% for Jesus coin. That's nothing, man. You had a day here that was 40%. Another day that was 29% afterwards. This day was 25%. All these little insignificant candles. This 16% pump, I will give it, is the most significant that we've had in about a week. But that's that's not saying much, man. So, so I do, unfortunately, where I have thought that this was the low before this area, I do think we go lower. How much lower? I don't know. Um, let's see if we take this overall fib from the previous all-time low to the current all-time high. We can see that we are, look at that, we closed right at the 1272, man. We literally closed right at it. We bounced off it before a few times and we closed right at it. It very much would not surprise me if we went all the way back down to this 1414, found a double bottom, or worse, we went down to the 1618, this area down here and found significance at what is that one two three four five six seven eight eight zeros six 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 wouldn't that be nuts man jesus coin found its low at eight zeros six 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 that would be insane man that would be really insane it'd be kind of ironic actually but the the one six one eight is right down there so rejecting the one two seven two an area that you found support on before rejecting the 886 it's not a good an area that you found support on before as well it's not a good sign it's really not a good sign so i do think that this thing's going lower i personally have not bought any jesus jesus coin yet every video that i make i talk about how i wouldn't recommend it to my loved ones i don't think that you should throw a lot of money into it i do think it's a 1000 xable maybe even a 2000 2000 more more than a 2000 xable coin in this coming bull market yes in this one cycle, I think that it has humongous potential, but, but it might not, it might not. So with that kind of potential gains, why risk anything that's significant? If you can afford a hundred dollars or $200 or $10, whatever, if it's a thousand X, $10 turns into $10,000. You do not have to risk a lot of money to turn this into a lot of money. It just takes time and patience and the right price. You know what I mean? So being at right now, I think we're at seven zeros, one four zero one. I would just say be patient. I don't think that this is the mark of the bottom itself. I do think we go lower, and we will likely go to about. I mean, who knows, man? We could we could see that six 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 price. As ironic as that would be, um, it's it it does line up very well. It is literally the one six one eight from this low here to this the all time high. It is literally right there. So I personally don't own any Jesus coin. I've been I've been wanting to buy some. I do have money set on Coinbase Wallet, a decentralized exchange, to buy some. Um, I almost bought some about a week ago, but I've I've been patient. I'm waiting, and I do think that it goes lower. And I'm confident to say that that I will buy some once we break below this one four one four. If we don't break below it, I will happily buy, happily buy back up here when we're in this regular fib range above the one. Oops 
above the one, above the 100 to the 886, somewhere in that area. Um, but I'm not so confident, especially with the fact that we we closed on a daily right at previous areas of, of, of support, potentially confirming it as resistance. We closed right at the 1272, an area that we found as support, potentially confirming it as resistance. This this overall kind of FIB structure where you, you broke below the 618, found it as resistance, came down below the 886, found it as resistance, and now you've found the 1272 as support and found it as resistance. That would entice me to believe that we do go to the 1618, which from here is a huge drop, you guys. That That is a 50% drop. And with Jesus Coin, keep it in mind, by the way, if anybody knows, to George Soros, man, that guy, just screw that guy. Um, anyways, I love Elon Musk, though. Um, let's see here. Let us see. What is it? Jesus. Jesus coin number 1555. It's actually, yeah, it's right there. Um, it's a $2 million market cap. So a 50% drop from here would make it a $1 million market cap coin. With that kind of market cap, a $1 million market cap to 1,000x would turn it into a $1 billion market cap. Is that possible? Is it achievable? Absolutely. Most most cryptos, not most cryptos, actually not most cryptos, but there, there are a fair bit of cryptos that are relevant, that eventually become irrelevant, that have made it to the $1 billion market cap level. So could this thing reach $1, million, or $1 billion? Absolutely. Um, even if it doesn't, even if it reaches a multi-hundred million dollar market cap, that's still a multi-hundred X from a $1 million market cap. But again, a 50% drop from here, that's pretty significant. So. I've got a couple hundred bucks, a little bit more than a couple hundred bucks that I'm willing to put into this thing personally. I haven't done it yet. I actually have 267 bucks lined up on Coinbase Wallet with a price buy at 0 .00000069 as of right now because I think the number's funny and I think it you know has some kind of significance. It's around the 0.618 itself. I don't care to catch the absolute bottom, but I do want to catch near it. I might actually move that order up even a little bit more because it is on a decentralized exchange. You don't have a lot of volume on those, so so maybe I'll maybe I'll move it up. I don't know. Maybe I'll move it up to where the 1414 it is actually. I just want to get in, but I don't want to get in now because even down to the 1414, that's still a 25% drop. So I am willing to participate in this thing. I, I wasn't at first. My first videos were all the way back here um, when I was bullish and then shortly after became bearish like on these candles right here. Um, and I've been bearish basically ever since. A little bit hopeful here, but as of right now, you guys, I definitely am bearish again, like full-heartedly bearish. So I would say we probably go lower with Jesus Coin, as sad as that is to say. Um, this is a low market market cap coin. It's only at two million dollars. It very well could just skyrocket, man. It it can do whatever it wants. It's such a low market cap. It does not take much to move this thing. So just keep that in mind. You know, there's not a whole lot of his historical data. So I'm going off of what I have, which is not a lot. So don't hold me to anything. Take it with a grain of salt. We could literally turn up tomorrow. Could be a 1,000% growth day. Who knows? Um, but at the moment, for what we have presented, from what I'm seeing on the charts, and with the volume, and with the fibs, and with just the way the price looks, I would expect that we go lower and and potentially, as ironic as it sounds, eight zeros six 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 as the price. That's that's kind of my expectation at the moment. I was convinced this was the low, but I'm kind of expecting lower prices now. Not kind of, very much expecting. Um, this day is the most bullish day we've had in a while, and it's not that big of a deal. 16%, that's all you got, really. Like, these days produce nothing, and this was a 40% day here, so not even half of that. Um, so bearish on Jesus right now. Inevitably, I think during the bull market, it will be a good coin. I think it will be a top performer, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not a top performer. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be a top performer, but it has the capacity to be one. So, I'm definitely willing. And, and that's the thing, man. If this thing 1,000 x is, you don't need to bet the farm. Okay, you don't need to put a thousand dollars. You don't need to put ten thousand dollars. You don't. You, you don't need to bet a lot of money on this thing to turn it into a lot of money. A 1,000 x from a 100 dollar investment turns into a hundred thousand dollars. 
If it goes down, if it goes to zero, oh well, he lost $100. Maybe you put $10 in it, whatever. 10, a, a thousand X on $10, $10,000. I know a lot of people that could benefit from $10,000. So just keep that in mind, you guys. It's not, it's not something that I would bet the bank on. Don't hurt yourself. Do not put money that matters into this thing. Um, we're not at that point yet, but I do think that we're at the point where it can it can be fun. We can put silly little bits of money into it that don't that don't mean much that you can recover from. Um, and if you really do believe in this thing, go ahead and put more. You know, it's up to you. It's your money. We're big boys. We're big girls. We can we can do what we want. We're all adults here. This is not financial advice. It's not. It's just my opinion. Um, some people like Nemo take stuff like this personally and they get all butt hurt and stuff whenever I talk positive things on this. So, um, don't be one of those people, man. Don't, 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 don't get upset because I'm talking about the potentials and don't, don't make a mistake. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting off topic here, but this guy, you guys, let me, let me, we're at the end here. We're at the end here. So I'm going to give you a little insight. This guy, Nemo. Whoever you are, Nemo, screw you, by the way. Fuck off, buddy. Um, go take your bullshit somewhere else. But but uh, he literally said that Google services might have removed his comment. He, he, he got upset at me because he thought that I removed his comment. I don't remove people's comments. You, you can disagree with me all you want, you guys. D tell me all the reasons I'm wrong. Tell me. Let me know. I'm, I'm curious to know why. I don't care. Y you want to spread uh, spam and what sort I'm looking for? fraud, you want to do stuff that, that will hurt the people of this channel, I will I will delete your comments. I will report you. I will do all that stuff. But if you want to say something that disagrees with me or that maybe pisses people off, I don't care. Like, whatever. No rules. I don't, I don't give a shit. Um, but you want to report me, Nemo? You want to report me because Google services might have removed your, your comment? I never did. And you even said that, but you're still going to report me because of my ego? Like, bro... You literally just said that you might have had your comment removed by somebody else, not me. You came at me saying you would report me, and because I defended myself, I have an ego. Like, get the fuck over yourself, bro. Go take your petty bullshit somewhere else. Anyways, not trying to talk about that on Jesus Coin. It just it just came up right at the last moment there, so hopefully not too many people saw that. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I think it goes lower from here. Probably goes higher overall in the bull market. Fuck off, Nemo. Take care. Bye-bye.